Hey everyone, Paul here from the Bait Shop Gold Coast. Today I'm here with Gary Howes from Gary Howes Ross. I'm sure you've heard of him before through the years. So Gary's gonna run through us today with a few of his different ranges of rods. He's got heaps on the market. So straight off, we're gonna start off with the estuary rods. Give us a little bit of rundown on your um, estuary rods, Gary. Well, Paul, our biggest sellers are the Brimbos, 10 foot six, club style rod, long, soft and whippy, ideal for whiting, brim, that type of stuff around the estuaries, blackfish. Yes. So we do them in a three, four and five wrap. So I've got three different colours here just to show you the difference, but really when we talk about three wrap, four wrap or five wrap, that's the number of layers of fibreglass that are made. When the fibreglass is raw, it's like a fat, flat sheet of material yes. soaked in resin. So they, they wrap that around a mandrel. And you can see I've also got the three different colours. So predominantly, fibreglass is black. Well, that's what it looks like clear. There's no colouring or paint on that one. You won't see too many like that. This is just what Gary has for a sample when he's out and about. I'll just touch the screen so we can see what's going on. So there we go. So it comes out clear like so, and Gary gets it dyed for his different models. So they dye the cloth before they make it. Yeah, so yeah, they just yeah. put a dye in it. So a lot of people think the red is lighter than the black. Yes. But really it's because the red is more translucent. So it lets the sun shine through and it's not a strong um, solid color like black. black so yeah, it I appears understand. lighter. So I just normally do the three, four, and five wraps in the different colors so they're easily picked up. But most are, um, are, are black. Okay, cool. For all the mass production because the colors are harder to work with. Okay, I understand. So most of blanks, like your generic uh, rods, are black for that reason. Yeah. Okay, let's show people at home the difference between the three. The three's a red, isn't it? Yeah. We've got enough room here. There's your three. A little quick look. You're not going to see too much. The four's yellow. The five's yellow. Oh, five's <laughs> yellow. There we go. The fours are black, like so. And then the yellow is the five, right there. Anyway, guys, so so that's your the Brimbos. So your estuaries come in a nine foot, a eight foot, and a seven foot. So give us an idea of the difference between the estuary nine, the normal estuary nine, and the estuary nine deluxe. So the S39 is a five wrap, yes. the deluxe is a four wrap. Okay. And then I've got the club light, which is three wrap. So very light and whippy. And as you go up the different wraps, they get a little bit stronger. Yes. So say the club light or the um, three wrap, six pound line, the um, five wrap, you know, 10, 12 pound line. So when you're in your S37s and your S38s, they're all four, four wraps. wraps. Yeah. Yes. And there's no such thing for the people at home, there's no such thing as a three wrap, is there? Uh, yes. There is? You have a three wrap in your range? Yep, the Brimbo three wrap. Oh, the Brimbo. Wrap five wrap. Okay, all right, sweet. But in the in the estuary, sevens, uh, eights and nines? is they're, there? They're fours and fives. There's fours and fives, yeah. Because I get a lot of people ring up chasing an estuary in the three wrap. Yeah. Okay. And when we jump through to something a little bit bigger. So this is a bit more obvious with the thickness of the cloth. These are just a couple of surf rod blanks, the 12 footers. So a lot of the time I try and name the rod for its purpose after a species, like the four wrap is a swallowtail, yes. so that's general purpose, general purpose surf. Chopper special, oh, that's you can yeah, a bit bigger. Yep. And then the fish seeker and heavier wraps. But you can see there, if you have a look, that's four, six, and eight wraps. And you can see it just gets darker because there's more cloth. And I don't know if you can see on the bottom there, you can see the thicknesses in the material that goes onto it. So we'll quickly explain to people, for people that haven't bought a rod by the wrap before, give them a, a general understanding why we're buying rods with heavier wraps. So obviously I know the reason, but there's a lot of people that haven't bought a Gary Howe before and they don't understand why they need to buy a four, a six or an eight. So most brands, whether it's me or Wilson's or Shimano or whatever, they would have the same thing with different wraps because it gives you more strength. Of course. So yeah. you want to fish for bigger species, the more wraps, the stronger the rod, the heavier the line you can fish. If you go and get, do a, uh, say a Brimbo three wrap, yep. and you want to go and put a pilchard and a five ball sinker on it and cast out the schools of Taylor, there's a fair chance you'll break the blank trying break, to cast that cast weight. The weight. So out, yeah. hence you go for, go for different things. This is, say the Brimbos, nice light, one, two ball sinker, six, eight pound line, and you're just sort of flicking it out in front of you. You're not trying to, it's not a distance casting rod. Whereas these other ones, um, you know, <clears throat> a bigger diameter blank, um, more power, so you can cast further in the surf and heavier lines. So one more thing before we, we go through the, the range of rods, 
we've got the low mount versus mid mount. Give us a quick rundown on low mount versus mid mount for the people at home. So low mount's usually for your LV, short butt. Yes. A little bit longer foregrip, lazy style of fishing, you know, relaxed LV winding away. The spinning rod generally has a, a longer butt. The further south you go, the longer they like them. Like some of the rods we make for southern states have 21 inch butts. Whereas a, a spin or a mid mount here is usually say 12 or 14 inch, just the way people fish and the type of reels that they use. So you are able to, because I get this quite a lot. Um, someone might uh, call me up and say, hey Paul, I'm looking for a custom surf rod. So they might want a, a green back with a little bit longer butt, like you've just said. Yeah. So you can come in store, feel the blank that you really like. You might want a different color binding. You might want the runner a little bit shorter. You might want a, bit, a little bit further up. You might want a different uh, a grip. You can do all that, can't you? Yep. yep. So if you're looking for something really special for a present, you might want Broncos colors. We've done that a few times. Yeah, once or twice. Yeah, we've done that once or twice. You can do it in store, but just remember, whatever the colour of the blanks are is what the colour of the blanks are. Yeah, but if you get one in Broncos colours, don't expect to catch fish on a losing rod. Whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so let's quickly run through the models that we have. So starting off with the S3-7s. So we've got S3-7s, now correct me if I'm wrong, we've got S3-7s, S3-8s, S3-9s, S3-9 Deluxes, then we run through to the Brimbos. Brimbo 3-wrap, Brimbo 4-wrap, Brimbo 5-wraps. And then we go through to what's next? Club special at 11 foot four. Yes. Starts a bit heavier at 11 foot four. Yep. Then we've got our uh, 12 footers, the swallowtail, chopper special, fish seeker, seven wrap, eight wrap, nine wrap. Light surf. Uh, light surf is 12 foot one. And out of all, the light surf is probably my favorite, favorite rod in that sort of range. Yeah, very light and whippy. And we use the same blank as the uh, ocean blackfish okay. as well. All right. Um, and then we move up a little bit heavier into our uh, Taylor rods, surf classic, surf classic heavy, classic heavy, greenback, and bulldog. Yes, and then so if you were, let's say someone's getting into surf fishing and they want to have two or three rods just so they can say they cover everything, what would you fish? What would you say? Come in store and buy. If I go up the beach fishing, I will take a brimbo, a uh, swallowtail, and a greenback. Okay, sweet. So I would take me. I would take the light surf. A, either a greenback or a bulldog, and then an estuary nine. Right. Yeah, so I'm sort of, yeah, I'm, we're close, but we're, we're not close. So let's quickly touch base on your flicks, your your boat rods. Because you've got quite, Gary's got a lot of boat rods, he's just not surf fishing. fishing. No, we do uh, the reef rumbler are our biggest range, and we do six foot, seven foot, and eight foot yep. in spin or overhead, yes. with your TLD style in your overhead or your, you know, your egg beater for your spinning. To an 8 to 15 kilo, 15 to 24, and a 24 kilo. So that covers everything. Some guys troll with them, some guys are uh, you know float line for snapper with them, some use wogs on the longer ones for your Spanish mackerel. Then I've got the 5 foot 6 tournaments, 8 kilo, 15, 24. Big game series with all rollers, they have the detachable butt on so them. So can they come with bent butts or straight butts? Yes. Okay, yep. there we go. And then you've got the the flick, is it the flick sticks? Flick stick pros. Yeah, yeah that's more for your uh, casting lures and plastics and you know, from the lightweight ones to bass, brim, flathead, barra, jacks. And I've got another one at the shop. I think it's a four to six kilo or four to seven kilo. Is that the flick stick or is that something else? Uh, no, do, uh, do the Bay Hunters. They're an old style glass rod. Yes. And the stingers. The stingers, that's what I Very like soft stinger. in the oh. tip. Yeah, good for the shallows. And I've only started doing the stingers in the last year, but they are unbelievable. They're probably, I haven't got anything in the shop like them. If you look at it, a rod, a perfect little snapper rod, unbelievable. Whether or not you're going outside or you're going to the estuaries, absolutely awesome. A lot to be said for the old style fiberglass rods. Yeah, so if you're looking for something different, and of course you can do that custom as well. Yeah. So have we covered everything today? Oh, well, there's yeah. fly rods. And I didn't know you. Know, I didn't even know you done fly yeah, rods. Not, not too many, but we do yeah. some fly rods, uh, bait casters, yeah. um, mackerel spin sticks, jig rods, deep drop rods. Yeah, okay. I think I've got nearly 230 in my range. 230 different rods in your range. Remember, say for a Brimbo three wrap, you got one piece, two piece, low mount, mid mount. So there's four versions of the same rod and you do that in every model in estuary and surf. Okay, so I don't know if you heard that. Gary's got nearly 230 different models, and if you want any of these custom built, if he's got the blanks in, in uh, stock, he can do it for you. Now, I've got up one question, because uh, one of the boys asked me, can you make bait jig rods? 
Well, not for twenty dollars, so I don't bother. <laughs> But if you want to, okay. So anyway, guys, you can find us at 22 Kendall Street, Arundel, or you can shop online at the Bay Shop Gold Coast. Thank you very much for today, Gary. No worries. I'm sure you've helped a lot of people out at home. Um, now, there is actually one thing. I should have asked this before. We've got all these different um, different butts. Can you quickly grab a couple of the snap-on butts? Like the real seat? Yeah, yeah, the real, real seats. There we go. It's so, got a few different names. Some people call them slide real seats because... Uh, that part slides up and down for your reel to go on, just to keep it lightweight. Some people call it snap-on, just be purely because of that sound. So you'll see see this on our club special rods. They're on the club specials, aren't they? Yeah, and I often do these with no grips, sometimes heat shrink grips, like on the um, light surf, sometimes with cork. Yes, so yeah, so Gary does all cork. He's in the back behind you guys right now. There's how many different uh, varieties of reel seats do you actually have? Well, I don't want to count them. <laughs> yeah, that many, yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, if, you, if you're chasing an actual custom-built rod that's off the blanks that we have in store, come in store, check the, check the rods out, and we'll get something made for you. Anyway, guys, good luck on your next trip.